since Colin Powell reminded us of what's at stake in this election for America and the world. He reminded us that at this defining moment, we don't have the luxury of relying on the same political games, the same political tactics that have been used in so many elections to divide us from one another and make us afraid of one another. We've seen some of these tactics in this election. They're getting uglier and more intense. And they'll get probably a little bit uglier in these last 16 days. You'll get... stay focused on what the American people are interested in, the big issues, energy and health care and jobs and Iraq. You know, the other side wants to make a big election about small things. But no matter what they do, you'll have the chance to walk into that voting booth and close that curtain and say, not this time, not this year. With the challenges and crises that we face right now, this is not the time to divide this country by class or by region, by who we are or what policies we support. There are no real or fake parts of this country. We're not separated by the pro-America and anti-America parts of this country. We all love this country, no matter where we live or, or where we come from. There are patriots who supported this war in Iraq. There are patriots who opposed it. There are patriots who believe in democratic policies, and there are patriots who believe in Republican policies. Men and women from Fayetteville and all across America who serve in our battlefields, they may be Democrats, or Republicans or independents, but they fought together and they bled together. And some have died together under the same proud flag. They have not served a red America or a blue America. They have served the United States of America. been at our best when we've had leadership that called on us to look past our differences to come together as one nation and one people leadership that that rallied this entire nation to a common purpose a higher purpose i run for the presidency of the united states of america because that's the country we need to be right now